Challenger is too good of a baseball player to be playing this ass. Bellinger going to a different team next year is probably the best thing that could have ever happened to him to this point in his career. Cody Bellinger, former NL MVP, is now a free agent. I was actually kind of shocked when I got the notification on my phone that Cody Bellinger is no longer going to be a part of the Dodgers organization. Now, obviously, he can get a restructured deal and like he was going to be making 18 million uh, next year, but I think. For his sake, it was probably the best thing for him to not suit up for the Dodgers. And honestly, I wouldn't want him to anyway. I think there is a long list of teams out there that could use somebody like Cody Bellinger. And I'm going to talk about a few. I want to talk about right now what Cody Bellinger will bring to the table in terms of what teams could look forward to or what teams are looking at. And he, ha he checks off a lot of boxes, even though he had a fall from grace since his MVP year. Obviously, 2021 was absolutely horrendous. He did play better last season. I feel it's just building himself back up. I think his stance has kind of altered over the last couple of years, and obviously he's been, he's been injury prone a little bit, and I think he was trying to change his stance to just compensate for the, uh, the discomfort that came, came with it. Back in 2019, he was taking violent swings. Like, his stance was violent when it came to some of those cuts. So he hit 47 home runs that year, and he was obviously MVP. From the projected stats that I see here on Fangraphs, he slated to bat around 220 with 20 home runs and then around 60 RBI. And I think even with the poor batting average or just him just being in such a slump offensively, his numbers are still better than a lot of guys that are going to be playing center field for some of these teams going into next year. I think wherever he goes, as long as it's not the Dodgers, he will be in a better place to be a better and more productive player. I think he's going to surpass all the a lot of these stats or just surpass these numbers altogether. I think at least my hot take or at least my early prediction for Cody Bellinger next year, I think he's going to hit around 20 to 25 home runs, but he's gonna supply some average offensive numbers, at least from the projections, and then he's gonna provide really, really good defense in that outfield. Now, a team I would love to see him on is the New York Yankees. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I would love, I would love, love for the Red Sox to go after somebody like Cody Bellinger, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll get into that in a little bit. But the New York Yankees, I feel Cody Bellinger playing in Yankee Stadium will do wonders for him from an offensive standpoint. And then if you have Judge out there in right field, if you if the Yankees resign him, which if you are a smart organization, you do that. You put you put Cody Bellinger in left field and let Giancarlo Stanton just be the everyday DA. There you go. There you go. Because you look at somebody like Anthony Rizzo, who's a good hitter, and he still is a good hitter. He still puts up numbers. Somebody like Anthony Rizzo can bat with a have a pretty bad batting average and just still hit 30 home runs a year. Just Yankee Stadium will have Cody Bellinger hitting 25 home runs. Easy, easy. I think it really doesn't matter if Aaron Judge stays or leaves the Yankees. I feel right now with how free agency is right now, a lot of players are waiting and a lot of people are waiting for where some of the big fishes go so they can see, oh, there's an opening over here. I think New York is a good spot for Cody Bellinger. From a pressure standpoint, I'm not sure it would be any different from LA. Probably be worse because obviously you saw how Joey Gallo was. I think Cody Bellinger is kind of in that in that same boat right now. Any team in the league could take a one-year flyer on Cody Bellinger because if he plays like shit, then they can just, just cut their losses. He's a low risk, high reward player. So I would say keep definitely keep that in mind. But I definitely think the Yankees could be very much in play for him no matter where what happens with Aaron Judge. I think a team like the Padres could go after him too. They could use the first baseman because I know they were linked to Jose Abreu because I don't think Josh Bell's coming back. I think Josh Bell goes elsewhere. Put Jerson Profar somewhere else and you put Juan Soto in fucking left field and you put Cody Bellinger in right and then you keep Trent Grisham out there in center field, let him do his thing. He can have a redemption story like no other and just continue to just shit on the Dodgers' plans year in year out i think there's a fit there but also i think it would just be pretty fucking funny i also think the blue jays could get him if they don't get brandon nimmo which i mean they traded to oscar hernandez so that kind of opens up a spot in that in that outfield for him and they need a left-handed bat the amount i did not realize that the toronto blue jays had an all righty lineup for the better part of last year. They need a left-handed bat. George Springer still, look, he's one of my favorite players in the league. I love George Springer. Him playing a corner outfield spot would be, I feel, a lot better for him in terms of health-wise. I know he took a nasty spill because of that collision with Bo Bichette. I think him playing right field or left field would be a lot better for him. I would love for the Boston Red Sox to get him. I feel a place that could absolutely use somebody like this, and I feel like this is kind of a move the Red Sox would make 
at least in recent times anyway, they would take a flyer on Cody Bellinger. Fenway Park can fix a left-handed hitter's swing. If you're a pull-happy lefty, then you're smoking home runs down the right field line. You got that green monster to contend with. Like, I get it, there was injuries and stuff like that, and there was some, some questionable moves. There was a lot of underwhelming performances from that team last year. At least Cody Bellinger himself can get you 15 home runs. I think the Red Sox need another lefty bat because their most prominent lefty bat is Rafael Devers. I don't want to see Ref Schneider playing over 100 games. I can honestly believe New York, one of the New York teams, I think Boston could be in a, uh, a real play for him. And then I also believe that Toronto could be a really good place for him too, because like that fit would just make too much sense when it comes to them in desperate need of a lefty bat, especially if they don't get Brandon Nemo. Crazy stuff going on in the world of sports. And obviously make sure you guys keep it locked here on the YouTube channel, as well as go check out VendettaSportsMedia.com to stay updated with all your favorite sports and video gaming needs. Again, let me reiterate, no matter where Cody Bellinger goes, he is going to put up numbers. It's not gonna be an all-star, but he's gonna be being, playing better. And I know throughout all of the 2023 season, I'm gonna be rooting for him for sure.